if he goes down, I go down. And if I go down, and before I go down, everybody goes down with me. This kid's got a big mouth. I want him dead. I don't know if you know this or not. He got picked up the other day by the feds. The guy is a friend of mine. I found out he's been talking to feds for over three months. The IRS was going to nail him on tax evasion and money laundering. Guido vowed he'd never let the feds take him alive. He wasn't going back to prison. The FBI was watching his every move. We live by the Casa Nostra. You don't rat on anybody. And always keep your mouth shut. This is the life we have chosen. We live and die by those rules. The killers come with smiles. They come as your best friends. I want him dead! I want him dead! I want him dead! I want you to put a nice pick through his ear. That Tony wants you and Guido to chop him up. And no mistakes.
That's how fast someone get killed in La Cosa Nostra. At age 14, I was living with my family in Sicily. My father owned a fishing boat business, and I used to have to help him every day after school. He was a very angry man with a violent temper. I never knew why. It was just the way he was. mother was very sick. Following a diagnosis of cancer, the doctor said that she didn't have long to live. She had become so weak, she couldn't even leave her bed. never hesitated to beat either one of us at any time. He had a violent temper and always told us he regretted having kids. We were no good to him. I hated seeing the abuse of my mother and sister, but there was nothing I could do. If I ever told anyone, my father would have beaten the three of us possibly to death. That's how violent he was. Our mother had passed away while we were at school that day and our father never even bothered to call. To him, our mother's death was a load off his shoulders. One less problem, one less mouth to feed. Without our mother, we had nothing. Certain events get etched into your mind. I remember the rage inside me when I killed my father. The intense power. I almost felt invincible. The police called it self-defense and turned my sister and I over to our aunt, Rosalind, 
who after hearing about her sister's death volunteered to raise us with her in America. It was going to be the start of a whole new life, a better life, and it would be the last time I would ever see Sicily. We ended up living with our Aunt Rosalind in a fifth floor apartment in Brooklyn, New York. She worked two jobs and was always trying to make a better life for us. So, what happened? Who's the boss? Ciao. Ciao. Come here, ragazzo. E per lei, Qual è il suo nome? Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Siamo in America, capisci? In America, we pronounce it Joseph. You speak English, Joseph? Yes, I do. Good. Nice to meet you, Joseph. Nice to meet you too. And welcome to America. I didn't know it then, but those guys were mafioso. I remember hearing about the mafioso in Sicily, but uh, as far as I knew, I had never met one. A few days later I got a call that some kids were teasing Maria. <laughs> 